Markets love that stimulus. What's up, everybody? Welcome aboard to Bubba's Daily Update for Monday, December the 28th. And of course, today's update is brought to you by our friends at Family Farms. Between the two of us, we're trying to help educate farmers to get better production, make more money, and be in better shape when the markets do eventually turn. But in the meantime, here we are. And of course, uh, President Trump signed the stimulus package last night, which I don't know why, and I wish he wouldn't, but it's not my decision. But here we are with a market that is exploding higher once again. Of course, it is well off the highs, but we are much higher. And again, once again, looking to test the all-time highs. Uh, the Russell is on, on starting off the week higher on, after an eight-week winning streak already. So we'll see where we go from here. In the meantime, we remain long across the board as we continue to share with you on a daily basis our positions, uh, the metals exploding higher again and uh, you know the gold tried and tested 1900 overnight it failed but here we are making another run at it so we'll see platinum and silver are both soaring higher as well uh you know we're long across the board all three of those uh bonds and notes are lower we are long both bonds and notes net gas is lower we are short copper again we continue to go higher uh and of course we're still long Uh, The dollar is under pressure once again, and of course, it looks like it's headed towards that 88 cent level. The uh, crude oil has been on both sides of unchanged. At the moment, it's lower. By the time you get this, it might be higher. It's just whipping back and forth around in between those levels, looking like it wants to make a run towards the 50. And of course, uh, you know, after we get the uh, new administration with the new OPEC arrangements, it could certainly get there. So we'll see where we go from there. In the meantime, uh, you know, we look at the grains and uh, corn is higher. Soybeans higher. Wheat's a little bit lower, but they look great. And there's nothing to even think about any concern in the grain markets right here. We look for this to the, the rallies to continue and look at pullbacks is just a buying opportunity. The meats, the protein complex, a little bit mixed. Uh, feeder cattle is flat. Hogs are slightly lower and fat or live cattle is higher. And in the softs, uh, you've got uh, cotton higher, OJ higher, which we're short, we're long cotton. We're long coffee, which is uh, ouch, down about 380 today. Uh, uh, We are short uh, sugar, and it's a little bit lower. And we are short cocoa, which is lower. We'll see. Again, we, we don't get involved day to day with the emotions of how it's trading. At the end of the day, we'll take a look and we'll see. That That's exactly how our algorithms work. And that's what we're trying to do is to teach you, whether you are day trading or whether you are swing trading, not to get emotionally involved in the day-to-day movement of any market because it will drive you insane. So let's make 2021 as the new year approaches rapidly, the year we decide to not let our emotions get in the way. In the meantime, don't forget about our brokerage partners. Now, I do have other brokerage accounts for both futures and equities, but in the futures and commodities department, we use CTG. Uh, They do take care of uh, 90% of my own personal accounts. They are the only broker that we authorize to use our algorithms and let our direction trade them for our members. Uh, They've got great customer service, great action, take care of you, help you set up, and they've got some brand new uh, managed futures products you may want to check out. And of course, for equities, there is nothing like Tradier. First of all, it's 10 bucks a month. Second of all, on Saturday, as many of you know, we announced our new package, uh, which is now going to be totally, if you want, if you don't have to, but totally automated uh, through Tradier as it is right now. Uh, and of course, it's still 10 bucks a month plus your membership fee for us. But at the end of the day, uh, nothing could be better to have everything done for you automatically. <clears throat> and that will be all of our products will have the ability to be traded without you if you choose to do so. That is obviously your own personal decision decision and preference. Uh, and our commodity report, Andy has been working his butt off on these uh, on these uh, quarterlies. And of course, he'll be on uh, the Monday night call with me tonight. And our, don't forget about our high school program, you know, at Patreon, P-A-T-R-E-O-N.com forward slash Bubba Trading. That's Patreon.com 
forward slash Bubba Trading. And of course, we had the the small winner last night with the Green Bay Pekka. And tonight, you've got the uh, Buffalo Bills against New England. You know, I, I put it this way: I don't, I don't love the game, but I've got a lot of action that I need Buffalo. So I'm probably going to hedge some of that off, but I will end up with Buffalo. Okay. Uh, but I do have a, a big payday should Buffalo cover the seven. It may be a little juicy, uh, but overall, we will. Obviously, we will have a decision. It'll just depend on how big and if how it plays out and what the line does the rest of the day. In the meantime, we do like Buffalo, but not, not for as much as I have it at the moment. In the meantime, have a great day, everybody. Look, don't get emotional. It's going to be a quiet sh- week. Four days, it's over. Uh, but by by Wednesday or Thursday, there may be nothing going on. So be calm, be patient, keep your emotions out. Have a great day. We'll see you back here tomorrow with another Bubba's Daily Update. Take care, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow.